Hello, uh, this is Todd Zarwell. I'm the programmer of the iDoc.com website and the uh, iPhone app. And I just released a third version of my iPhone app into the iTunes store last week. And I wanted to show you some of the, the features. I'm calling this version 1.0 finally because uh, it finally has all the features that I wanted it to when I initially started out creating this app. And the most recent addition is uh, calculators and tables. So um, I'll start at the bottom here. The first is a diopters to millimeters converter. And it's pretty simple. Just click on here. Uh, I made a little custom keyboard because I never like the keyboard, the number keyboard that is automatic on the iPhone. So I made this little custom keyboard. And in this vi uh, box, you can enter uh, measurements in either millimeters or um, diopters. So if I say 45.25 uh, diopters, it'll convert it to millimeters. Or if I enter 8.1 millimeters, it'll convert it to diopters. Uh, so pretty simple. Also, if you would rather look at a table, there's a conversion table that I tried to give her a very large range, all the way up from 65. I believe I went down to... 30, so you can get the really high cones or the really flat post uh, um, refractive surgery corneas. And then I have a vertex converter. And unlike a lot of vertex converters, you can enter a whole refraction in this uh, field. So we say minus 9, minus 3.75, axis 84. Click go. It'll convert that. And uh, if you want to toggle between plus cell and minus cell, you have that option. Uh, you can change the vertex distance. And again, there is a, um, a uh, table here too that you can use if you'd prefer to uh, look at that. And again, I try to give it a very large range so you can even uh, convert some of your higher refractions. And uh, then the oblique cross cylinders. Um, you can type in the refraction, minus 9, minus 2, axis 68, and no refraction. Let's just say minus 1, minus uh, 2, and let's just say 89, and hit go. Um, it'll give you a result, or if the... Um, if uh, the lens is rotating, you can change that. It'll give you a live um, uh, calculation as you do that too. And of course, here I have to use a mouse on this demo, but of course on, on the real phone, you'd be using your finger to swipe that lens. And I think I made it pretty intuitive. And then lastly is uh, contact lens design, which is contact lens calculators. And again, you can type in a refraction. Let's just say minus nine, minus two times 87 and then keratometry, 41, let's just say 43.5 at uh, 90. And then you can type, uh, it made it so you can calculate any type of lens. So uh, soft spherical, it'll give you a power diameter, uh, base curve, which um, of course uh, are usually pretty standard on these lenses. Some advice, um, with this much refractive cell, a torque lens would be a better choice. That's probably pretty obvious. Uh, but then I also made it so that you can um, search for lenses with these parameters too. So it goes right to the contact lens searches. It's already entered your power that you're looking for. And you can just do a simple search of lenses. It'll give you lenses that come in that power, which may not be as needed for lower power lenses, but sometimes that can be very helpful for the high powered ones, especially the Torix. Um, you can also do soft Torix lenses, um, uh, rigid lenses, a spherical lens. Um, it suggests a power, base curve, diameter, um, uh, more advice. And uh, even the Torix, by Toric, it largely just uses the Mandel Moore method for that calculation. Um, pretty standard, but just makes it easier. Then the more fancy Toric, the back Toric, the front Toric, um, calculations for that too, something that none of us do as frequently um, and uh, might be uh, very useful in some cases. 
I even have a calculator for a front torque lens, which probably isn't the best idea to calculate this empirically because there's so many factors, including how they rotate on the eyes. But um, if you have the need to do it, you can do it here. And um, that's, uh, that's the extent of it. So I um, hope you uh, find it very helpful and hope you find the website and the app helpful. And I really appreciate everybody who subscribes to the website. It makes uh, things like this possible. I really enjoy uh, working on these things and there's no way I'd have time for it without uh, my loyal supporters. So a sincere thank you to all of you.